Welcome back. So the last one was optimization of effort. And Michael Porter doesn't like come right out and say it, but I really feel like this is kind of a hint. And he even says, look, optimization of effort, OE, operational efficiency, operational effectiveness. I feel like he's kind of hinting at that, even though he bashed it at the beginning of the article. I, I, I remain confused on this point. If any of you have more insightful comments on this, please post them in, in the commentary down below. But what I get the feeling he's talking about is, you know, reduction of optimization, uh, excuse me, reduction of redundancies and wasted efforts, you know, setting up efficient supply chains. You know, this is an example of optimization of effort. They give an example of gap, but I think Walmart is an exa a good example of the same kind of concept. You know, Walmart is a master of inventory management. Everything at Walmart I mean, Walmart has other key success factors, you know, big stores, great locations, all that stuff. But I've always thought that their real key to success is their, is their inventory management. You know, when they scan that one, you, know, you buy some toilet paper or whatever, they scan that, and the moment it, it, it leaves the store, you know, another thing of toilet paper is ordered to be restocked into the store. So that's an example of optimization of effort because the entire supply chain, the entire operation is geared towards an efficient, um, you know, supply of goods and services. Um, again, I feel like anytime you did a Lean Six Sigma project, you'd be focusing on optimization of effort. So pushing everything towards normally one or a series of core competencies around which you build a company, right? Again, I might argue that Amazon, even though we talk about reinforcing activities, I'd also argue that Amazon, with their focus on having one great product, you know, the cloud computing, that's also an example of optimization of effort. So they take everything else and try to make it as efficient as possible so that it can support, you know, this one thing of cloud computing. They also, of course, do have the reinforcing activities because cloud computing goes really well hand in hand with selling books, with selling products, with selling, you know, cloud space. So that's kind of how, hopefully that helps illustrate how these two concepts are a little bit different. Um, so this is optimization of effort in a nutshell. It's just getting rid of the waste, being really good at, as I understand it, OE. Let me know if you have any questions on this. Put them in the comments down below. And as always, hit that thumbs up button. That's a like. Hit that subscribe button. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video where we're going to talk a little bit more about resource-based view of strategy versus portarian strategy. I'll see you in the next video.